Even though Donald Trump remains the front runner, there is a firebrand and a fighter on his tail, and that's former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. She's been gaining substantial momentum over the last few weeks, and her campaign's right-hand woman, Olivia Perez Cubas, joins me now. So, Olivia, the stakes are high for Ambassador uh, Haley tonight. What is she going to do to, to flip the switch here and get the GOP on board with her and not Trump? Yeah, look, we're excited. This is another opportunity for her to talk to millions of voters, millions of viewers who are tuning in, many of whom might be being introduced to her for the first time tonight. And what we're seeing is that her message is resonating. She is talking about her vision for this country. She is talking about a strong America, a proud America that is more important now than ever before, given world events. And I think, you know, what, what we know to be true is that she is the only candidate on that stage who is rising. She is the only candidate on the stage who actually has momentum. She is now second in Iowa, second in New Hampshire, and second in South Carolina. She is in a strong position in all three early states. So for us, it's head down, do the work, be in those early states, meet with voters, share her vision, and it's working. Well, let's talk about her vision. You know, voters are galvanizing across the country, Olivia, in support of protecting abortion rights. And as we saw yesterday in Ohio and Virginia, you know, abortion rights are fueling Democratic wins. It seems Republicans are getting burned here. Is abortion a losing issue for Republicans going into 2024? And does Haley think that her stance on the issue will set her apart from more hardline candidates and actually help elevate her numbers again? Yeah, look, last night was definitely a disappointing night for Republicans. We saw underwhelming performances by them across the country. I think on the issue of abortion, Nikki has a very strong response. She is actually leading on a very divisive issue. We saw at the first debate, she talked about how the political reality of the situation and how she was going to share the hard truths about the issue with Americans. She talked about finding consensus. There's a lot that we don't agree on. However, there's even more that we do agree on. We agree that there should not be late-term abortions. We agree that we should be supporting moms. We should be promoting adoptions. We should be um, talking about contraceptives. There is wide agreement on those issues. So in Nikki's eyes, it's, it's let's, let's find that consensus and then let's make progress through those through those items. And I think at the end of the day, her goal is to save as many babies as possible and to support as many moms as possible. She ultimately wants to humanize the issue, not demonize the issue, and that is a winning position. So Olivia, clearly uh, Haley wants to be president and she's gonna have to do something about Trump. She benefited from him early on in his presidency, good for her, but now she wants to be president of the United States. Is she prepared to finally take aim at him? Yeah, two points. I think, one, when she agrees with Trump, she says it. When she disagrees with Trump, she says it. She makes no qualms about it. She's hit him and, and disagreed with him on issues of China, um, the debt, his response to Netanyahu following October 7th. So she's not shy about that. I think more than anything, though, big picture, her argument is that we need a new generation of leadership. We need someone who is focused on the challenges that America faces. We need someone who is not distracted by the chaos, the drama of the past, and someone who can lead this country forward, who can lead through American strength, and who can address the issues also that we face here abroad. Olivia, appreciate you being with us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.